one. One of the things that I missed the most about our school time together is story time. And so I thought that I would create story time with Miss Oda. Today we have Bruce's Big Storm. It's a story that's part of a series from Mother Bruce, a series that we started this fall. So I hope you enjoy. Bruce's Big Storm by Ryan T. Higgins a Disney and Hyperion book from the Mother Bruce series. Bruce was a bear who did not like neighbors. Neighbors were loud. Hi, Bruce, wanna ride? Vroom, vroom. They were always interrupting. Brownie? Pestering. Wanna play frying pan ball? Worse still, neighbors lived all over Bruce's neighborhood. Hi neighbor, do you have any robotic laser cutters I could borrow? Bruce's neighbors were always coming and going, but at least none of them stayed very long. Until the day of the big storm. Soggy Hollow's weather today will have rain that is very wet and wind that is very windy. Bruce did not want visitors. He wanted to wait out the storm in peace and quiet. Sorry to be a bother, but can we please stay here during the storm? But not everyone felt that way. Big storms are less scary when you're together. Let's invite everyone to play games in our pajamas. I love pajama parties and we don't even have pajamas. As the rain started to fall, the winds got windier. More and more animals began to arrive. Finally, the whole neighborhood was there. Wait, said Rupert, someone is still outside. Everyone went to the window to look. Well, almost everyone. There was a little bunny out in the storm. Someone has to save her, shouted Thistle. I'm on my way, said Nibs as he ran out the door. But the big storm was too much for the mouse and in his hurry, Nibs got a little carried away. Ah, oh look, I can see my house from here. Nibs's rescue mission was not going as planned. I'm here to rescue you, but I need help down first. Swoosh! It's okay! This is all part of my plan. We 
needed a little more help. Bruce, you came to save us. You took my favorite umbrella. Maybe we need a new plan. Everyone had to pitch in. And together, they pulled the bunny, the mouse, and the grumpy old bear back to safety, along with the umbrella. It had been quite an adventure. Bruce did not like adventures. Everyone take one of Bruce's clean towels. While the storm raged on outside, Bruce's visitors, cozy and warm, played games to pass the time. Bruce did not like games. Duck, duck, Bruce, you're it. Then one last guest arrived, a great big oak tree, and it didn't knock, crash! Battle stations, bring me a chainsaw. I'm allergic to acorns. Okay, but the house was not. I think the roof might have a leak. Still, everyone found a safe, dry corner to spend the night. Come morning, Bruce's house didn't look so great. Soon, Bruce's neighbors went back to their own homes, leaving Bruce behind to grumble in the rubble. But not for long. Tap, 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 tap. Now what? All of Soggy Hollow, every neighbor came back. To lend a hand, hoof, paw, or wing to help Bruce rebuild. Over time, Bruce's house was put back together even better than before. We call this addition the Rumpus Room. It's for rumpusing. It became a popular place in Soggy Hollow for all the neighbors to gather and have fun. I have five old maids. You can't have five old maids in poker. I thought we were playing go fish. Hey, who's been eating all the poker chips? I thought they were crackers. Bruce did not like fun, and he still did not like neighbors. But they sure liked him. You've been elected to be our den mother. Keep checking the It Oda B Kinder YouTube channel and Story Time with Miss Oda playlists for more stories. See you soon.